All right, we're back in here for part two. Sorry, I got cut off there. Uh, I think my phone ran out of some uh, some memory, and I had to like delete delete a couple apps there that I like never use, and you know, a couple of actually some episodes that I had saved on my phone there that you know I don't really I'm not watching my stuff after I'm done with it really. So excuse me, I had to like delete those off. So. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to wrap things up here a little bit, you know, uh, just didn't want to end it on like a, such an, like abrupt, uh, pause like that, but you know, it is already almost 1am here, so I am kind of wrapping things up, but you know, uh, just getting back to like, you know, I was kind of discussing, uh, Elijah McClain and Brianna Taylor and, uh, I'm just kind of getting back to that. It's like there still hasn't been an arrest made in the Breonna Taylor case. You know, is it even like a case at this point? Like, like how is that not, you know, I, I see some people have, are saying that, uh, you know, they try to like justify whatever happened because they're like, oh, well, the boyfriend opened fire on the police and this and that. So they, you know, they shot back or blah, who God knows what, you know. It's like, were you there? You weren't there. How do you know? It's all like here. It's you know, it's like hearsay almost. It's it's crazy, you know. Uh, I just don't understand how you could take a life and then there's like no consequences, you know. I mean, some say you know, people are always like, oh, there is. There's, you know, there's like uh, what do they call it? Not like mental. Uh, consequences or whatever, but that's what people try to say. They're always like, well, they struggle mentally after it happens, you know, and, like, as long as if they lived, like, a great life after they kill somebody. It's like, well, they shouldn't have killed somebody probably, right? I mean, Jesus. And it's amazing that, like, you know, that there there has been a lot of change, really, since, you know, the the murder of George Floyd and you know, the protests that's, that happened across the country and, you know, the, the there were riots too, obviously, you know. Uh, but that's the thing, you know, people tried to, as usual, try to act as though, you know, they're like one and the same in every instance. And it's like, that's not the case in every in every instance at all. Really, it's kind of the, it's kind of the contrary, really. So, no, I just uh, you know, I just hope there's some some sort of justice coming here for Elijah McClain and Breonna Taylor, and um, you know, I saw Ahmaud Ar- Aubrey's uh, murderers were convicted of first degree murder, I believe, and uh, I'm not sure if they've been like sentenced, but. It's like, at least something's happening in that case, man. That was another wild one. You almost, like, there's so many of them at this point. You almost forget, right? It's horrific. It's crazy that in every instance, you know, people have to still fight for, for justice, you know, and have to, like, beg for it almost, you know, beg to be heard. And it's like that that shouldn't be the that shouldn't be the case at all, you know, so uh but yeah, kind of wrapping things up here, uh you know I think it's just about uh, trying to uh trying to enjoy things while you can really <laughs> cuz it's like I keep saying it's it is uh, not easy these days, and it's only really getting harder, it seems. Because, you know, it doesn't seem like cor- coronavirus is going away anytime soon. It doesn't seem like quarantine's ending anytime soon. And, uh, you know, it seems like another wave, obviously, is here. And so we shall see. That's kind of... Uh, 
kind of where we're at with, where we're at with it. Uh, I appreciate you watching and listening where you wherever you were on this Saturday night. Uh, I'm gonna try to come back to you here in a few days. I'm gonna try to do, surprise you a little bit uh, with one of, another epi- with the episode coming up here. Uh, hoping to travel to a famed location here in Colorado and do a quick little show from from there. Maybe a little 40, 45 minute show from there uh, coming up here in the next week or two. Uh, but like I said, I appreciate you watching and listening wherever you were on this Saturday night. Uh, and and uh, hope to catch you on the next episode, which would be coming at you in the next couple of days here. But yeah, thank you again. Have a great rest of your weekend. I will see you soon. This has been Living Color with Matt Woodward signing off for episode 16. Thank you, everybody out there. Have a great rest of your weekend. Peace out. We'll see you soon. Bye.